Welcome, everybody. Thanks for checking me out on the stream. If this is your first time checking me out, maybe you've checked me out a few times, do me a solid favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn those notifications on because I honestly am really terrible at informing everybody when I'm going live and how I'm going live and what time I'm going live. So the best way to do it is to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn notifications on. Other than that, also, uh, Anchor Cove, I am sure to let everybody know with a moment's notice or with a little bit more notice of when I'm going live. So if you are checking this out on replay, do me a solid favor. Go ahead and type in the comments down below. Let me know, hey, I checked this out on replay. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, so today I will be going over... Uh, brand new beta heroes, which is really cool because I we've found a way to go ahead and discuss them. So I'll be talking all about the beta heroes. Uh, I'm also going to be talking about the uh, major updates that just happened to the costume chamber and thoughts and opinions there. I do have some Titan hits, uh, some other fun. Uh, I will also mention that this uh, this stream is also sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you check out in the bottom left hand corner. You can kind of check that out. Uh, they've been massively, massively important for distributing content to you guys. Um, so if you do appreciate the stream, you do like you know everything that we're doing here or or whatever, um, then do me a favor, go ahead and check out the, the the game itself. And the best way to go ahead and check out that game is to check the description of this video. It says to click here. You click those special links, and within those special links. You actually get um, all the freebie extras that come with just downloading, and because they like me, uh, they want to like you guys and give you guys good, cool, free stuff. So if you go to the video description, you click on the special links. If you're a new player, you get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion. The, uh, the champion's called Adjudicator. Uh, which my last live stream, somebody checked it out and said that that he was actually really, really, really uh, strong. So that's uh, that's kind of my update there. Let me go through and plow through everything. Lots of cool, fun stuff to to get through today. So what's up, King Conan? How are you, buddy? Jerry Lawson, how are you? Uh, Gibby, good evening to you as well. Franklin, what's up? Cobb, how are you? Uh, John, what's up, man? Uh, you're welcome, Gibby. I'll be able to uh, to help you out with that. And uh, if you guys are checking this out, let me know if this is your first time checking out the stream, as well as uh, where you guys are watching me from today, because that's pretty cool if you are watching me from wherever you are in the world. Go ahead and let me know where you're, um, where you're checking me out from. So I do also have, like, raid hits. Um... Fun new thing for me, I have officially a couple new heroes that I'm running on my defense now. And I finally have Miss Mother North leveled all the way up. I was pretty lazy with leveling her, but I went ahead and finished her, and I've got emblems on her. And I'm running her now on my defense, so there's that. What's up, Ryan? How are you, buddy? Uh, HD0, what's up, man? So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into the raid tournament real quick. Every time is the first time you're smelling on stream. What's up, Real Zero? How are you, buddy? Miss you, buddy. Um, this is uh, not your first time on the stream, unfortunately, Zero. From Dominican Republic. We're actually thinking about going there. Vancouver, Canada. Oh, I'm actually, I think we're going to Montreal here soon. Belgium. Memphis, Tennessee. I've heard uh, amazing things about Memphis. Uh, I keep being told that you have to go to Memphis once in your life. Oh, so you're from Chicago. So, uh, John, you should stock zero because he's in Chicago as well, too. What's up, Dave Sauce? How are you, buddy, man? Oh, Atlanta. Nice. I love uh, I love Atlanta. Uh, Legna? Legna? I'm sure I probably pronounced it incorrectly. But uh, how are you? Uh, glad you were able to catch me live again too, Kent. What's up, lovely Fraser? How are you? So more, more, uh, more Chicago people. Zero. I think you need to make some new friends over there. Um. Okay, you're in Atlanta. Cool. All right. So this is my defense. I think last last stream I went ahead and I showed you actually my defense. 
and I'm doing pretty good. So, again, I'm a huge advocate of don't throw emblems on four stars. Uh, instead, spend that ham on actually going ahead and leveling up more heroes rather than leveling up all your trips and throwing emblems on four stars and all that kind of stuff. So, I still have yet to put an emblem on a four star, and I don't see myself doing it anytime soon. Um, you got this live peer on your recommendations. Oh, cool, Mob. That's awesome. Uh, I'm in uh, Massachusetts near the Boston area. What's up, Michael? Uh, from San Francisco. I love San Francisco. Central PA is sweet. Uh, Kansas City, home of the Chiefs. That's so funny. It's great. Uh, great. Uh, crazy to see you guys going to the Super Bowl. I actually don't like the Chiefs, but it's all good. I'm a I'm a Raiders fan. So Austin, Texas. Oh, cool. Everybody's from Chicago. What's up, K. Burrow? Not to be confused with Q. Burrow, which would be the correct pronunciation of your name. Southern California. Cool. We were just in uh, San Diego uh, like two weeks ago. All right. So let me go fight some dudes. What if you only have four stars? Uh, I still honestly, uh, Constance, my opinion, if, if you're free to play and you only have four stars, then maybe I can see a consideration there. Oh, not regular rates. Um... But you have to understand how expensive it is to uh, how expensive it is to actually level up all your stuff and the amount of information, like the amount of resources used when you actually go ahead and roll it over. So um, I'm not huge on putting emblems on four stars. If it's your only ones, I can see somewhat. But if it's not your only ones, I don't really recommend it. Uh, oh, you're in Tonks, bro. Oh, nice. What's up, Gretchen? How are you? New York. Oh, cool. Emblems on your defensive turn team first, right? Yep, that is absolutely correct, Ryan. Put your emblems on your defense. All right, so this guy... I think I'm just going to run this still. Um, I'm trying to see if... Either way, it's going to mess up my green diamond. Yeah, I'm not really going to like you going off. I think it almost might be inevitable. This is going to be a race chat. Because Colin's going off. What's up, Daryl? How are you? Sarah, how are you? Emblems on four specials heroes like Wukong? No, I still wouldn't even recommend Wukong. If you guys are wondering as far as emblems, I just made a video not that long ago on emblems. If you're really that curious about them. I just made a video on it. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's a waste on Scarlet. I guess like there's some people not even Bolt Test, not Guardian Jackal. No, um, I don't think I, waste is strong word. So I think first and foremost it has to uh, it has to do with um, what what you're doing. So for instance, uh, a player like Chef Chef went ahead. He emblemed up a ton of his four stars because he's super super into the uh, to the tournament. And that, absolutely, I think it's relevant to go ahead and do it. But even for, like, uh, top 10, it's fringe you may need to do it. Uh, I don't think you really need to emblem up into the 4 stars and 3 stars to make top 10. Definitely don't need it for top 100. Maybe if you're going for, like, first or, like, really up at the top, then maybe you're going to absolutely need emblems on your heroes. But mostly, I think you could just get, it, get away with just running stuff. So, um... Yeah, so why bring greens against red tank? Uh, because this is bloody battle, and uh, I completely forgot that I can actually bring blue. I forgot this is the five color one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. I literally, I, th I, I think that was the last rule. That it was, um, that it was 
you can't bring uh, blues. That was the last tournament we were in. So I was just in that mode. So Falcon, uh, Falcon and Wilbur have them. I mean, for Falcon, I think like I really don't like Falcon, unfortunately. Like you, ha like you have to use Falcon. I get that. Um, but I just um, I'm really bummed out that they have to use Falcon because his stats are like terabad. And uh, they're not good. So I can see, I could see maybe for that. I just, for me, I've already spent so much on just re, like changing, changing everything that it um, it doesn't prove to be to be worth it. Um, what about costumes? Use them or not? I will go over costumes in a little bit for sure. You use emblems on four stars only because you need five stars. Make sure to have reset. Yeah, so even like I said, like the reset, like people don't realize the amount of ham and iron that you're putting into the actual hero itself. So when you're doing that, you're like, you're wasting a lot of resources that you could have just been using to level up anything else. Um, the emblems are useful, but they're just, they're so important later on. Like, they're so important later on. Alright, so I can't heal. Oh, not that there. And treating. Okay. Alright, I got punished by this guy earlier, and I was actually quite frustrated about it. I'm gonna get that blue match right in there. I guess that'll do. This should kill him. Yep. Alright, cool. Um. So give me my match that I need. Hopefully nothing else. Thank you. Um. Actually, probably should have let Li Zhu go off. But regardless, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm in King of the North now. Yeah, I've been in uh, King of the North for probably like three weeks now, something like that. I think I I just I decided that I was going to go and hang out with my friends and and people that I've been constantly surrounded by, but never really had the opportunity to play with them. So. I'm just going, I'm honestly, Chad, I'm just going where people, people, uh, people want me to be, dude. I'm just trying to enjoy the game. Like, hang out, stream with you guys, chill, not have any stress. What's up, Caesar? Costa Rica, nice. We actually, uh, I almost got roped into going to Costa Rica. Costumes are cool, yeah. What are my thoughts on emblems for King Arthur? I'm, I'm actually not huge on embleming up King Arthur. You got Posh Ricard. That's funny. You're just finishing up emblaming Falcon for Green Titans. Yeah, I don't know. Like I still get, I still get really solid hits on on Green Titans, and I have like my red team. I don't. It's just it, for me, it's just totally not worth it. It's not worth the resources. Some people can justify it. I just, I really don't think about it. Watch Chef's uh, Chef's rant about emblems. That's funny. He probably says the exact opposite. The, and like I said, like I, I specifically said, you know, Chef himself, because Chef is using emblems for events, you know. Um, so I can understand it there. 
So, yeah. Always welcome. Uh, Q, where are you at, buddy? I forget where you're, uh, who you're with, K Burrow. Um, okay. Kira has works, but not healing. Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't heal. No healing can work on this. Uh, Ryan, uh, I have my Valia leveled, and uh, I'm really liking her on defense. Team is Kingston, Victor, Gear, BK, Ranveer, all have seven emblems. Who's better to replace Ranveer? Um, I would probably run... It's a toss-up. If you have the emblems... I'm trying to think. That That's like... I think I would swap out your Victor to the to the corner for sure and probably run um i would probably run neath because you already have a gear and bk which are already using um those are already kind of like healers so i'd probably run uh kingston bk a gear neath Victor is what I would run. Uh, Victor or Dominita, I would probably run Victor. I'm actually not huge on either one, but if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Victor. Actually, no. He, oh, what what was he mad about, Gibby? Uh, last Regiment. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely probably check you guys out. You guys have been relevant for a long time. Let's see. All right. This is a yellow team I got to bring. My yellow team is trash. Okay, Ares or King Arthur for Paladin emblems. Um, it depends. Like if they're going on your defense, uh, Ares is also pretty solid as a um, as an offensive hero. Really, really good actually. Um, that's so funny. My four stars are trash. Four star yellows are trash. I shouldn't say trash, just in comparison to others, they're, like, pretty bad. Uh, I'm trying to think. The sport's kind of bad. When boards are bad like this, you got to just work the middle. So, like, I might get, like, a three, a three yellow match right here and just rip it. Like, statistically, I should be due for, like, a lot more yellows coming up. So, when I do get those yellows, I'm going to want them in the middle. So, I think I have to submit to the fact that he's going to go off. Um... Which I will say is like not that bad when you're running mono like this, because all the the pain that you take is all distributed. Like that hurt actually, chat. I'm probably just dead. Rip. Having color, uh, having color coordinated war defense effective. If so, why? Uh, I made that video probably like two years ago, and it still holds true to this day. So yeah, it is super effective. People just run out of heroes. That SG was never gonna make emblems a money grab thing, and yet they have. Yeah, they definitely have. It's funny. I didn't even think about that. Well, he's he's got to be like upset about emblems for sure because he he uses all his emblems for for the events. Like, I'm actually I'm pretty like. I already I keep on forgetting. All right, so I gotta bring green. Um. 
Like, I'm... I, like, I missed out on emblems. I was so mad about that. I shouldn't say so mad about that because it was my decision. But I ended up uh, leaving the game, like, two weeks before they released emblems. So I missed out on, like, three or four months worth of emblems. And... Um, and so I'm playing a major game of catch up compared to everybody else. Uh, please don't go off again. Green. All right, got it. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so healing. You know what I wonder? No, there's no way. That'd be cool, though. I don't know what this guy was doing with his defense. I, you, you wouldn't believe the amount of times that I see people doing um, heal, like healing and resurrection don't work and they still put them in their team. Like he's got Cyprion over here in the corner. Watch, it, it'll be my luck and I'm going to lose. Oops, I forgot to run him first. Uh, that was supposed to be a green match, but whatever. Wouldn't it be awful if I just lost? Okay. Um, yeah, um, K-Bro, I'll, uh, I'll definitely consider it for sure, buddy. Alright, um, you never bothered up leveling any four stars except for Jackal or Gretel? Well, you probably should. Instead of using your emblems, use that to level up heroes. Uh, who, uh, would you put emblems on five star heroes such as Tarlac or Miki for Titans? Um, there is some consideration possibly for Tarlac or Miki, but I actually don't think that it's worth it. Um, I actually, when the emblems first came out, I advocated for it. But I don't think that you should at this point. Because um, Tarlac, I think Tarlac, I forget where Tarlac is. Tarlac, is he Druid? No, he's Monk. So Monk is super, super clouded or super important um, because of, I mean, for me, I need my Monk emblems. And then I forget. I know Ramvir is Monk as well as, as, well as Wukong. I forget what Miki is. I'm not huge on it. Uh, interesting this year, far behind yet so far. Um, well, Gibby, um, I mean, I had the heroes, I just didn't have the emblems. Yeah, playing catch up stinks. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> not yet, Darian. Um, okay, uh, so that's there. Let me go attack a titan. Alright, blue dudes. Valia has been awesome for, uh, for the titans. I think, have I been running Richard? No, I haven't. I think I've still been running Carol. Yeah. And then I'm still running Tarlac here instead of Ranvier. I'm going to throw one of those. Oh, all right. Well, it's like the one time I wish I brought my, um, my, uh, Mana pots, I goofed. I brought the wrong thing in, chat. Uh, 
the um, the healing was supposed to be my mana pots. Hundred and seventy five. <laughs> it's funny too because I have the wrong mana, or I have the wrong healing potions right now, too. So this first hit was to show you how not to hit a titan. Uh, I gotta, I gotta do a. I gotta, um, I gotta go do some stuff, dude. All right, well, let's do all these. I've run out of these. B, don't have enough heroes, that's why they're using healing. I don't think so. Can you use Valia as a tank? I wouldn't recommend her as a tank. Um, did I get any costumes yet? I haven't done my costume pools yet. Haven't done those yet. I'm going to do those with you guys. So like, is it these ones that I like? One of these I really like. Yeah, I'm gonna run these. Let's see, heroes. All right, cool. Oh, Titan, attack you. It's fine. Mm. I was aggravating a little bit. Oops. All right, do you know the highest amount of people if you have watching it live? It was over 350. Yeah, it was like over 350 people. Yeah. Thanks, Gretchen. Please say Vala. There's no I in Valia. I don't know. I'm going to call it whatever I want, I suppose. That was the funniest thing, like making the content video for that, and everybody was like, bro, you can't pronounce any words. And I was like, I know. Um... You, uh, you have, if you haven't learned that I can't pronounce the heroes, um, people are just going to learn. Okay. 
don't have to have you alive. Do we have to have you alive? Come on. Alright, that should be an okay hit. Alright, you got Vivica last event. You got Vivica awesome, but no Vivica last event. That stinks, I'm sorry. Small giant owes you to pay the 400 gem difference, right? I don't think you've ever mispronounced a name before. Never, never. It's funny because I almost called you Cuboro. But you're always going to be K Burrow. Cage Burrito. Yeah, I know. It always will be Cage Burrito. No, it's funny. Uh, I got into a discussion how he's just going to be uh, K Burrow instead of Q Burrow. Would you agree that players who have played for a long time and have very large hero roster getting both the costume and the hero is a little bit of a drawback? Uh, I don't think it's a drawback, no. I don't think it's not really taking up an extra slot. Like, I'll take an extra five star. And, um, yeah, and then, like Mr. Spock just said, just throw it into the Hero Academy when they do it. Um, I don't think it's useless at all. I mean, I would take extras all day long. I'll take extra five stars just because. Which I guess that brings me to my next thing. I do have some of these. Oh, and I have to finish this. Yeah, oh, I've got two hours on this. I probably should use a thing to do this. It's funny because I put off both of these for you guys. So let's go clear this first. Pretty sure I can auto this. Um, all right, chat. So this is a good time to ask me questions that you might have while I'm autoing. Um, yeah, just ha having having the five star come with the costume or having the hero come with the costume is absolutely worth it. I don't see any drawback. Like I'm totally okay that worst case scenario I have to use that extra hero to level something up. There's just literally no drawback with it. Um Yeah, so like I said, now is definitely a good time to ask random questions. What do you guys think of the 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 costume costume changes? Any clue at all as to when the Hero Academy will roll out? Um, they haven't tested out in beta, so they haven't done that yet. My guess and what people are kind of rumoring is like summer is when the Hero Academy will come out. So in preparation for that chat, I would highly recommend you go ahead and keep all five stars that you have. Do not just get rid of your five stars. If you have a bunch of extras, I would I would probably still keep them, because uh, you're gonna need them and want them. Any big content plans for 2020? Um, uh, not really, not right now, Mr. Spock. I think like the biggest thing that I want to do is I want to finish, um, I want to finish the the grades. I started working on the three star grades, and then I realized that we have to use a completely different math formula for the three stars for me to actually grade them. So I'm just working with Elthamer, and I gotta remind him again and be like, "Hey, bro, we gotta um, we gotta figure this out." Cause I started working on the three three star grades. I was gonna finish them the other day, and then I was like, "Wait a second, I can't do that." So 
Uh, finishing up the hero guide is definitely like I think priority number one for content. The other thing that I want to do, and I've been talking with, uh, with Zephyr from the forums, is to make a video on every single hero, uh, like a quick like one to two minute hero video on each individual hero, just talking about them, what they do, that type of stuff, so people, the like, beginner players can see what it is that the hero does type of stuff. Uh, so I'm considering doing that, but I think of that product, that's like a huge project. Uh, the other thing that I need, like I need help. Um, I just got, uh, which actually, do me a favor, chat. If you have Instagram, can you like follow me on Instagram? Because I guess that stuff is like important. Um, I just posted my Instagram in the chat. It's just Anchor Gamed. You can find me on Instagram. Go ahead and like add me there or like follow me, do whatever you do. Because I just took over an Instagram. So that's also part of the content thing, figuring out how I'm going to be working on Instagram and leveraging that. Um, there's a, a bunch of different content videos I have to make. Like I already uh, have the... I already have a video from Mags. Mags actually made an amazing video on the Alchemy Lab. So I have to go and I have to record my portion of it, edit it, and put it up. So I'll probably try and get that out soon. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of type of content. But I, I just, I need help, to be honest with you, chat. Like, I need to figure out, like, help. Because, like, I, I want it, I want to, I want to get more stuff out, but I'm only one person. So, um, let me scroll back up. What month do I think season three is coming? I think season three will probably come out probably decently soon. My guess is like April or May, maybe sooner. I don't know though. I think last time it was released in the summer, summer of last year or the year before, the year before. So yeah. Um... Hero uh, Academy sounds a thrill. Allow craft emblems? No. Hero Academy is what's going to allow you to craft new heroes. So you should. We don't. Nothing has been confirmed yet in beta, but you should be able to go ahead and craft your old heroes into new heroes. Richard or Thorn for tank and emblems? Uh, I would definitely do Richard over Thorn for sure. I actually had emblems on my Richard for a long time, or I might still. I think I still have emblems on Richard. Any news on when... I already talked about that. How good is old Vivica? Yeah, she's still viable for sure. You like the changes? Yeah, I love the changes that they did for the Masquerade event. When they just released that out to us at beta the other day, we were, like, super stoked. Um, yeah, you're glad you kept those five grimbles, right? Yeah, you should be able to put them to good use there. You have Kingston, BK, Gwen... Ariel, I'm assuming Victor, is that correct order or should you change it? Um, yeah, that's correct order. Half the EP form is saying Valia's garbage, the other half is saying she's awesome and confusing. Go with what you said. Yeah, no, Valia is actually really good on defense too. I think she she probably shines the most on defense and Titans and is a little bit less. Um, she's less overwhelming for me because I run mono. So I don't get to really, like, and I, when I'm running mono blue, it's usually up against red. Uh, but I think that she, Valia is actually better suited for, like, a 3-2 team that you can, uh, that you can stack with her, like, running, like, Athena and Valia and then, like, the other, the other three colors, however people that do 3-2, like, normal people play 3-2, uh, however they actually build their teams. But I think she's actually better suited for that. But, I mean, they can think that she's trash all she wants, but her she's the only hero that's a fast dot. She goes house. You, like, have to deal with it. You didn't get regard to Sonya, the good ones. Oh, okay. You don't like that you get the same heroes. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Good three-star. Yeah, the three costumes. Yeah. Couldn't find Finley or Shechette on the they're, they're there for sure, Ryan. Finley and Shechette are both there for sure. Oh, my hero is dying. I think I should be going. All right. Uh, cool. Thanks, K Barrel. Uh, say what heroes are worth ascending. Yeah, possible, Raphael. Yeah, I put it in there. Use the Instagram to drop single hero use, then group them together on YouTube. Yeah, I probably will. I'm trying to figure it out. All right, cool. You got me on it. 
you can get your alliance to start making videos and heroes for you. Uh, Poppin, I'm considering how, like, what I'm going to do uh, to ask for health and stuff like that. Hurts you every time you say Valia instead of Velia. So she should just always be Valia. Uh, any testing of the seasonal heroes that they said are coming? Uh, yeah, so, chat, I'm going to talk about brand new heroes. Like this, 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 um, this live stream, I'm going to go into all of the brand new beta heroes for sure. I can't show you them. I can't play with them, but I am going to go ahead and discuss them. And so you're going to know exactly what they do and everything like that and what to expect. Cause there's definitely some really, really cool stuff. Uh, I was planning on streaming a lot earlier today and mostly just going over the costumes. And then they were like, Oh, Hey beta with all brand new heroes. And I was like, Oh, all right, I guess I should probably prepare for that instead because that's probably kind of relevant um yeah it's weird finally caught up in chat mm, are you guys mostly from the states i know in the beginning we had uh, quite a few people that were from the states. I'm just I'm wondering if like Europe is chilling with us tonight, because usually usually I try and stream at like four, so like ten o'clock their time. But I definitely started streaming late. I uh, I had to go and get my root canal done today, and I was actually pretty bummed because they only got to do part of my root canal. So this root canal has now will take three appointments to do a root canal, and I just got a, a different root canal back in November. So all I've been doing is getting root, root canals. If you don't use Kunshin, my defense, what would you? But you use him in war and raid attacks. Uh, is it still worth him to keep using the emblems on him? Um, it depends. So Kunshin, I forget is Kunshin sorceress? No, I forget what Kunshin is. It depends on you, man. Kunshin's Kunshin's awesome to have uh, emblems on. Uh, what's up, Mouth or Muth, Muhammad? Arab people love me. Oh, cool! I love Arab people. Uh, Greece. Oh, that's sweet. I've never been to Greece. Oh, you're from Mass too, JML? Cool. AZ, sweet. Yeah, we were just in Arizona last week. When is season three releasing? I don't know yet. Hope I tested for a bit today. So much more than usually. Can't wait to hear your opinion on them. Yeah, I um, I I uh, Joshua, I, ch I checked them out for a little bit. Um, earlier today, but I'm gonna really like today, tonight. I'm just gonna kind of give the opinion. Uh, and not really, cause I I haven't tested them. I haven't played with them yet. But I have like a decent uh grasp on them. Usually, I'm usually okay with stuff like that. But um, but I plan on getting in and actually playing with them, uh, like after this, because I I don't think that it like to me it wouldn't be fair to be giving that information rather than just giving information that's to the public. Oh cleric, yeah, Kunchin, yeah, uh, you can probably keep it keep it on the cleric, depending on what else you're gonna do. Ascend Valia or Magni, kind of know the answer. Uh, actually, that's I don't think that there's a clear cut answer to that. All in. It depends on your defense, uh, and it also depends on if it's like your first. Because somebody asked me first blue, and they asked Valia or Magni as a first blue, and I actually recommended um, Magni over Valia, just because I think that Magni has a slight more versatile, has more versatility, just a slight bit of versatility. But either way, I don't think, like, neither one is bad. Like, I have two Magnes leveled up, and I don't regret it. Sorry, I'm just making sure I actually kill this thing.
Okay. Uh, Brazil? Oh, sweet. I'd love to go to Brazil. We have a bunch of different fighting styles, and we can make... Um, sure, you send some sample vids from Mono32. Yeah, for me, you know what I'm thinking, honestly, Poppin? I'm thinking about having people potentially do like make all of the content video, upload it, do everything, and then do like a split share. So I am looking for good players that uh, that want to make videos and want to make content and want to just leverage my audience. Because for me, like going through and editing all those videos and stuff like that is not really worth it. Because I could just go and I can make the video myself. Like I can make play style videos like all day long. Like that's like making the video itself is not the hard part. The hard part is making the thumbnail, doing that, putting in the correct information, uh, editing it. Like all of that is what takes time. So that's why you see like no offense to anybody else that makes content. But there's a big difference just in the production of my channel versus other channels that you see out there and that's beyond normally obviously I have like my green screen but I've been like I've been streaming in my girlfriend's kitchen uh, lately but like when you look at like the layout and everything like that like there's so much time that I put into this you guys have no idea so but you can see there's a ton of different youtubers that are out there making content videos for empires and puzzles but they also don't have a huge following. Like they're not making the thumbnails the way that I'm making them. They're not doing all that. And that that type of stuff takes so much time. So for me, if I'm going to bring like people on or bring people to like help, I want to make sure that it's something that actually helps me, not something that takes me 15 minutes. Because I can I can record content videos all day long. That's why for me I love I love streaming because I feel like I cover a lot of information, a lot of content without having to go and edit and it's like I make one thumbnail I make my layout and even just preparing to stream for you guys today um, it took me about an hour and a half just in preparation that doesn't include what I'm gonna have to do to actually stream this content like that doesn't include any of that and then there's kinda of the the post stuff that I'm gonna have to do as well too so that's my long-winded saying that that's my long-winded way of saying that I definitely want help but I want to make sure that it's help that um that like is that type of help that I need. Yeah, you could definitely talk with Razor. Like it would be awesome to work in conjunction with Razor. Razor is super cool. Thank you, Gibby. I really, really appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, London. Oh, sweet. What is versatility? So, uh, so versatility is pretty much what I would determine in basic terms, like the basic versatility, because I have like a versatility grade on the hero sheet, and that versatility grade is more having to do with... Um, versatility in terms of titans but versatility what i was just talking about is more of like the aspects in which you can use the hero and the different things that you can use the hero for so for instance when you're gauging like a good hero for the first first hero that you're bringing up it's better to choose a hero that is all around good so it's like all around good on titans all around good on on raids, all around good on defense, like an all around good hero is versatility. So when somebody asks, like I have I have Gwen or June to level up as my first five star yellow, all day long I would tell them June. Even though Guinevere is like pro pretty pretty much the best tank in the game, but I would still recommend June just because of the versatility of June. And what how how good June is overall as a hero. Um, be mindful of the game. This is tougher than it may appear. Is it worth to remove the emblems and apply them to Mother North? Oh, okay. 
So if you have Mother North, yeah, and you're not running Kunchen on your defense, I would probably run them on. Um, I would probably run them on Mother North instead. If you already have some like a hero like um, probably Ursania, I would say is probably your exception. Like, I don't think that there's a better... There's probably not a better tank in general than Ursania. She's definitely better than Kunchen, even though both are amazing on defense. Uh, so many five-star clerics can't even get one. Yeah, I actually... I mean, I had mine on Elkanen, and I just switched it over to, uh, to Mother North. Oh, I'm pretty far behind on chat. Sorry, I'm working on it. Oh, Connecticut, cool. Yeah, that's right. That's right near me. Uh, do I have to beat Season 2 on hard before Season 3? We don't know yet, Ryan. I don't think so. Uh, what's the name of the list of heroes for optimal positions? Uh, so, Chris, if you check the description of this video, or actually, you can just if you look over to the left, it says to donate or go to the hero grades. Go to anchorgame.com slash grades. Uh, that'll bring you right to the hero grading. And that tells you the optimal positions for it, too. I appreciate that, uh, Muthmed Muhammad. Happy with your two followers, even though they're just your kids. That's pretty funny, Empires. Anything we can do to take some pressure off you guys? Thanks, I appreciate that, Poppin. What's up, Joe? Why you play Elgin and he is bad? Um, I actually probably should switch. The reason why, this is my, um, this is my, uh, what's it called? This is my auto farm team, and I only wanted one healer, and I wanted, um, I wanted just, uh, AoE, uh, heroes instead. So, that's why. Because when, when you're doing auto auto farm, like I want to be able to, to hit the most amount of heroes at the fastest speed. That's why. But that's actually a solid question. I definitely have better heroes than Elkanen to run on offense. So chat, just so you know too, I'm I'm saving up all of my hero specials for the next stage, so I can just kill the big bosses without without it really taking much. You'll make good videos, but you said you want good players. That's funny, bro. You're you're definitely fine. You're definitely good enough. Yeah, that's. I think somebody asked my next thing. I want to start leveraging. Um. There's so much content that needs to be produced for this game, and I'm only one person. And what I've found is that there's a lot of content creators that want to make videos, they want to contribute, but they don't really know the ins and outs of building an audience. And I've been working on building my audience for over two years now. So... Um, and it's cost me a lot of time to do that. So I'd be happy to set up a situation to where, like, you know, we, you know, you leverage my audience so it actually gets seen. The information's actually out there. And depending on how good the video is, you know, we do a split share and you make some extra money. So that's, I think that's, that's my next stage. That's the next thing that I want to go ahead and do. Um... I don't want to do that. Sorry. This is taking so long. I should really want you dead.
I like vastly overestimated uh, or underestimated the amount of work it was going to take to finish these guys off without hero specials. Okay, um, YouTube notifications are getting worse, Miss lot, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, what did I miss? Been playing with Gazelle. You were absolutely right. She's bonkers. Yep. What alliance did I end up with? Didn't see it spicy for the last four. Um, so I'm hanging out in, um, in King of the North right now. Do I know how many seasons there are in total? No clue. They keep on making new seasons. Is it worth putting talents on Grimble? Uh, I don't think so. Killing you with not making a diamonds? I bet. I'm not really paying attention. Uh, just make sure I don't die. That's rude. Oh, that was rude too. Okay. Fourteen life, really? not worth it but whatever it's funny because I was like autoing through it so I was trying to catch up on chat all right uh thank you for the explanation no worries um explaining everything yeah no problem neither Poseidon which is best uh I would do Poseidon first you have Aaron Guinevere Aguirre Evelyn Zimkita as defense you have Jabberwocky Sheshat Dominita um, I mean, says Shat, Jabberwocky are sick. I would probably run says Shat over Jabberwocky. Um, I don't know. That's too much for me to go ahead and come up with a defense right off the bat. I would honestly, Charles, I'd recommend just going ahead and looking at my hero grading sheet for the different positions and then figure out what emblems you have that you can use. And that is in the description of this video. Greetings, Anchor. You need help with thumbnails. Look at your channel. I have some made from videos. Check it out. All right. It's for me. It's not. It's uh, more finding a person that wants to go ahead and and uh, and make them for me. Hold on. I'm trying to get to your channel. For some reason, well, let me let me see if I can get to your channel from here. Probably not. Um, let me see that. Okay. I'm taking a, I'm taking a look at your. Oh, cool. I mean, you've got some pretty cool. Hold on, this actually might. It's probably planning with you guys. Uh, you've got you've got some really cool. Yeah, no. See, this is see, this is really good stuff. You've got you've got some pretty cool thumbnails for sure. I like your your intro, your audio intro. Uh, it would just need to be like everything. If you take a look at like my thumbnails, I have to make my thumbnails every single time. 
Like, I make new thumbnails every, um, every time. So I just would, like, it would just need to be, I just need to find the right person. But I'm definitely, you know, I'm open. Uh, what's up, Philip? So, Guardian Allen, good tank to have. I'm not huge on him. Video suggestion, explain your hero grade sheet. Um, yeah, so Veronic, I'm planning on, I have to make a new video uh, that explains that. But you're absolutely correct. I'm just waiting until I finish the actual hero grades before I make that video. Uh, do I believe heroes like Finley or Sanya might get nerfed? Uh, there, if there are two heroes that could potentially be nerfed, I would say that those two would be it. There, like, Ursania is, like, super, super hard to get around. She hits hard. And Finley, Finley's just bonkers. Yeah, Team Francis, hope they don't nerf him even more. We'll see. You pulled uh, Vivica, fastest way to level up. Uh, Christopher, I'm going to go over that in a second. You think Ariel needs to be nerfed? Nah, she's straight. How hard do you think Season 3 is going to be since power level may be worth the emblem? Some players are 46. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too hard. It's probably going to be pretty similar to Season 2, which I, I really appreciated what they did with Season 2. Because Season 2, they actually it, it actually took some effort. I haven't finished Season 2 yet, but, like, there were definitely some levels that, like... Like, I kind of like it when I have to struggle a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but I, I can't I can't imagine that they change it too, too much. I think the next step that they should potentially do is, like, update the, um... The, the basic hero quests, or, sorry, the basic, uh... The basic quest for, um, like, the four-star mats. I think that that's something that they should actually probably update. Because it's, I mean, that stuff has been around since the very beginning. Um, glad you caught me session. Cool. Glad you were able to catch me. Your auto farm team is Ursania, Zim, Zelina, Athena, and Rana. Seems good. Is Richard worth your telescopes? I love my Richard with telescopes. Richard's sweet. Oh my god, I'm really far on chat. Sorry, guys. They beefed the green guy. is pretty good. Yep. Ariel just needs to be hit. Spell. Yeah, she's not too much... Yeah, they are super annoying. It says 1400. Yeah, an unnecessary amount of of life in my opinion. Oh, that was supposed to be a, a purple diamond. That's so annoying when you misclick. Sorry, Chuck. I actually meant to do this before I even started streaming, but here it is. We're doing it.
Okay. All right. Um, is this my normal challenge? What do you mean? See you in seven hours. Sweet. Uh, I put emblems on Shed Shad. Jobby Walker plus Shed Shark has a great combo. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Gotta go. See you, Sarah. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. Alright, I'm almost done. No nerfing, right? What's up, TC? Yeah, no problem. Um, TC, if you want to, go ahead and, um, do you have a link for your podcast, buddy? So I was just, uh, TC Cap actually asked me to do a podcast with him, and I did that the other day. And, um, if you wanted to get a little bit of information about me, thoughts, opinions, stuff like that, um, I did do that the other day. So we're going to do my five costumes. Which, let me go ahead and talk about this, too, real quick. Um, absolutely amazing thing that they just did. They just made it so costumes, they now actually come with the hero as well as the costume itself, which is super, super mega important, and I'm actually super excited about because there are some of the Season 2 heroes that I still really want to get. So being able to get the hero and the costume at the same time is going to be awesome. Um... They did change it. The price is a little bit higher, which is fine when you're actually getting the actual hero with it too. And um, and you also have the ability to potentially get the bonus draw. So, so you can actually get the hero of the month uh, in this as well too. So lots of changes here. They added this. Um, I believe, yeah, this was, was added too. So... Um, so I think that they did a good job on this. Me personally, I'm not going to invest a ton into the costumes, but I can definitely see that this could be uh, a feature that will be really, really useful for a lot of people. Um, let me see. All right, so that was all my all mine. I'm actually I'll do I'm gonna do two more of these. All right, yeah. So I think um, we'll do one more. I'm going to save the rest of this because I want to save my gems um, for Atlantis coming up. But that's pretty sweet. Um, so let me get into... Because I need to do, like, I need to level up. Where are you at? Uh, I need to level up. So here's all the costumes that I have. I do need to do regard over here. Um, I gotta like, I gotta refresh everything that I, that the heroes that I want to do. I definitely want to do regard, regard suite. Um, and I definitely want to level up this, um, this gunner too. And That's fine. 
send. Oh, I don't even have enough ham. All right, well, we'll finish them later. Okay, is there any word on the Hero Academy? Not yet. There will be a new list of OP in nine months, right? Save some gems for Season 3. Season 3 is too far away to save gems for, unless you're, like, super free to play. Um, starting your favor to go against with Mitsuko. That's funny. Choose Charlock for these stages. Make go by so much faster. Uh, I wanted damage. I used to I used to run Tarlac, but like Tarlac and Grazul is just not that good. Yeah, glad you could catch me live one. Uh, gotta spend gems. This land is for Kunchen. Yeah, I do want Kunchen. Pulled Liliana costume earlier. That's awesome. Yeah, I I wanted Liliana costume. Or Liana. Not letting you post link. Alright, so it's called Barracks and Anchor was episode 2. Alright, that stinks. Uh, TCAP, if you want to, you can send it to me in line. And I can try and post it. How about if you don't get Valia this month? And her name is Valia. Uh, I would say pretty bad, Philly. You'll probably regret it, to be honest with you. Especially if you get... Um, Especially like the the way that the game is gonna shift, the new the new green tank is gonna be disgusting. Um, so um, Teleria, I think is his name. Teleria is disgusting. I think I think honestly, chat, if you don't get Valia, you probably um, you probably will regret it. Just my, just my saying, just my thing. I think she's really good on defense. She's way better than, like, say, like a hero like Grimble. Uh, I'm pulling up my line. Yeah, Jean Francis will be. We'll we'll see how we'll see what they do with Jean Francis. Okay, give me a second. Um. All right, so. I'm logging into line real quick because I want to post this link for you guys. There's no I. Yep, there is. Her name is Valia. Valia? I don't know. Valia sounds better. Alright. Uh... Francois? It's French. Do I look French? Alright. I got it up, TCAP. All right, guys, if you want to check out my interview that I just did, uh, you can check it out right there. I just posted the link there. So a player who doesn't get Heroes of the Month will always be behind? Not necessarily. I mean, Gibby, I missed, like, all of the important heroes. Vila? Vela? Valia? Um, who knows? Um, give me one second, chat. Give me a second, chat. Hold on, chatty chat. Okay. I need that. All right. Um, 
so real quick guys this video like i said it is sponsored by raid shadow legends guys they've been i can't even express it how important uh these guys have been and super super helpful super supportive and the biggest reason why i've been making so much content for you guys um a uh, company like Raid Shadow Legends is the reason why I don't have to like harp on you guys so much for, for donations and like really going that route um, because they're essentially what's been supporting me playing the game and making a lot of content and kind of forcing me to make content that I know that I've needed to make. So massive shout out to Raid Shadow Legends and I have to admit, chat, that I am actually becoming a daily player with this game. I definitely didn't mean to um mean to happen but uh raid child legends you won you only had to sponsor me for like four months before i became a daily player and get me into a clan where i'm playing with people from anchor cove so now i'm like logging into the game and making sure that i do what i need to do um so i want to show you guys this game if you are like hey anchor i really really appreciate everything that you do I appreciate the hero guides, I appreciate all this kind of stuff, but can you do me a favor and just um, just go ahead and, you know, like, I don't have the money, I can't I can't really support you financially, do me a favor, go ahead and check out the game. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, you just check it out with the description links below, uh, and just by doing that, just by checking out the game, you uh, get, uh, you, get, you, get, you have to make sure you click on the special links. That are already listed and if you're a new player you get a hundred thousand silver two clan boss keys which i figured out the other day are super important uh 10 mystery shards and a free champion adjudicator so um really important if you want to support me you want to support the stream but you don't really have the money all you got to do is check check out a different mobile game and just try it out you don't have to buy anything you don't have to spend any money and you get a whole bunch of free stuff just by doing it so uh, let me go ahead and actually show you this a little bit. What's up, David? Hey, um, so yeah, so I have to go battle my clan boss. Okay, did I already, I think I already hit, did I already hit this guy? Oh, they're already working on hard? What are we doing, chat? You guys are savages. I don't know. Are we, um, I should probably check in with my chat. I'm going to go battle this. So they have this really cool system set up that you can like uh, auto battle the boss. So that's actually really cool. And as your dudes progress and get, get higher level up, uh, you do a lot more damage. So it's pretty cool. Let's see auto far left. All right, let me answer some of these questions for you. You don't have Aaliyah, but have Finley. Uh, no, do Finley. Finley's amazing. I would absolutely do Finley. Uh, give me a second. Did I miss stuff? All right. Uh, so like Eric, Clapton song, Lay Layla? Vila? I don't even know that song. Thank you, Fanny Man uh, Manage uh, Trolls. I don't know what that means. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> so Vila is like Kayla. Vela? Is it Vela? I, th I feel like everybody is like you're saying it wrong, but everybody has a different way of saying it. Um, that's fine. I'm the one that has to say it out loud. You guys don't. As long as Anger keeps pronouncing Ursenia and Cage Burrito like he does, how else does she pronounce? It's not Ursenia? Man, see, it's so funny. It's like you see things and then you like say them how they look. Do I answer my email? Uh, I don't know. Did you email me? Playing for eight months, only pulled two of those monthly heroes. Yeah, I mean, um, it just depends on how much you put into it. You pull uh, Gazelle and... And Gabriel, your darts. Do you think you should replace Drake? Um, some people are are debating it. I think that um, T Cap, I would probably keep him on Drake for the time being. 
keep him on Drake for the time being. There might be a time when you might switch to Gazelle, but I think that right now, um, right now I think that you should go ahead and um, and keep them on Drake. Yeah, Finley is definitely better. You don't know, just need Ascension mats. One single pull from Ascension mat chest, a costume room. Oh, oh, am I homemade? Yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll check it out. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, cool, I hit 1.8. It's my first time you doing a uh, one point anything. I think I should probably hit again. Uh, Ray just, uh, trust me, if you get here the month of March, she will change your life. Yeah, she's, uh, March is going to be really cool. Uh, is being in Raid Clan as time-consuming as EP Alliance? No, actually, Raiders, it isn't. Uh, I pretty much I just go in real quick, hit the hit the raid boss, and then I'm free to go. Uh, I would say definitely a whole lot less time. You can do a lot of stuff in the game, which if I progress and decide that I want to be like super, super, um, um, super into it, then I would probably, um, then I'd probably do more with it. But we'll see. I mean, I'm enjoying the game. I'm like I said, I'm I'm now I'm now finally kind of like a daily player, and checking out, which I I'm assuming that's exactly what they wanted to do. So, um, you ally chat legends about me not getting welcome stuff. Oh, I emailed you about that. Oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh sorry, empires. Uh yeah, I did uh, I did hear back from him, and he um. He wanted to make sure that you went through the tutorial. Maybe you didn't go through the tutorial yet. That's the other thing. I guess you have to be completely brand new to the game, too. So that's it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and say um, he's still going to work on it, I guess, supposedly. And uh, he'll email me and let me know back. I, I completely forgot that was you. But Empires, I did, I did take that information. I did send it over to him. Know you're busy, but what would it be? A good list slash content comparable to the HTML list, like don't have Wilbur, use, etc. Um, that's uh, that's so so Gibby. I'm thinking about making a Titan team, like video for all the Titans. What heroes to use for all Titans? That might be something that would be incorporated with that. I think my game is getting hot. It's kind of lagging, and that's my fault. If it, if it seems kind of laggy, it's it's my fault because my uh, my phone's overheated right now because I have my heater on. It runs usually way smoother than this. All right, so that's pretty cool. I gotta go check in real quick. I think I have to check in. Uh, or did I already check in today? See, Chad, I already checked in today. It's so funny. Uh, me, I'm gonna turn this heater off. I've got a heater on my feet. Give me a second. That's like that'll probably help. Um, okay. Look at this. Um, I'm just going to play this for just a little bit longer. So it does have this market. The market's pretty cool. I've bought in some of the stuff. They sometimes, I make sure I check this. Um, oh, I got I got to finish leveling up Kale. So I finally ascended my guy to, so I have like a five star hero now, and finally ascended him up to uh, up. So that's pretty cool. I got to upgrade this. So they have like an upgrading system, which is pretty cool. It gives you like a certain certain amount of success, and then it goes to high success. Why is March Hero of the Month life changing? Um, it's like a Grave Maker ish type of hero. Talk about it when it gets when it gets closer. And then, like I said, chat after this, I'm gonna go through all of the all of the heroes. So 
If you do want to support me, you want to support the stream, I really appreciate it if you do check out this game, Raid Shadow Legends. Um, the information for that is in the description of this video. Um, so what does it got here? So I have uh, the arena. This is about to end. Oh, I dropped down a level. That's interesting. Hmm? I wonder if I could beat him. We'll fight this guy. I should be able to kill him. And if you guys do want to, um, if you guys want to play with me, um, we do, I think we do have some spots open, right? Superwoman, we, we've got clan spots open. So if you want to, if you want to, uh, if you want to play with me in Raid Shadow Legends, we, uh, we actually, we got some spots open This is their, this is the raid. Uh, how did you know? I, I don't think I fed away anything that good. Hi. Um, you can heat that up. I didn't do that yet. Um, yeah, let me see. I think I can, no, I don't know if I can kill him. I'm going to try and kill this. I feel like he's just going to kill me. I don't think this is going anywhere. It'll be fine. Just it's heat it up again. Like four hours. Just heat it up again. It'll be fine. Sure. I'll, don't throw it away. I'll eat it. Yeah, I need to eat. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think this guy's just going to kill me. Nope, yeah, maybe I'll be able to kill him. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna get back. Oops, not that. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted to do. Okay. Alright, um. All right, give me a second. So I'm going to switch back. We're going to quickly go over the new beta heroes. Give me one second. Actually, I gotta get a different screen up. Give me one second. Pull this up. All right. Okay. Can you guys see this okay? I should be fine. Okay. So this is this is the first uh, this is the first hero that we have. Now, uh, all the credit goes to Zephyr on the forms who went ahead and typed all of these up. We are allowed to go ahead and um, talk about talk about the heroes. So these are the heroes that are coming up. This is what's going on. This is what to expect. Expect, but I can't go ahead and show you um, show you the actual heroes themselves or show gameplay of it. 
So this is the next best thing that we have to kind of give you a heads up as far as what's coming up. And you can check this up. This is public information on the, the SG forms. So, um, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get the stuff from Raid. And again, quick for Raid, if you do want to check it out, make sure you go ahead and click the description links. You get the... You get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, and 10 mystery shards, and a free champion, the Adjudicator. Um, all right, so this is a three-star. It has actually pretty high uh, HP. The defense is pretty low. Attack is pretty solid. Uh, it sets it at average. This is the first three-star hero that gives defensive down for specific uh, colors. So will be pretty useful for people with their titans potentially at lower levels uh, 245 to the damage and minor damage to the enemies so this is like a, a baby uh, baby Frida that you could use um, pretty cool though pretty cool to expect definitely 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 will get usage in um, in the three stars for sure definitely worth the leveling up uh, let me go check this. Okay, we're still good there. I'm okay. This is the next three star. This is a three star red. They pretty similar stats. It uh, it's at fast speed. It deals 220 damage to the target nearby enemies. The target and nearby enemies gets 24 mana generation for four turns. This this is going to be really 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 good for three stars. Um, they actually this takes over uh, Chochin, I believe is the the purple one that runs at average speed, so this is going to be fast, which it seems kind of interesting that they would just literally just make this better. And I think it actually does more damage, too, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I will give you guys a heads up. With this being beta information, this stuff can absolutely, absolutely change. So um, you can absolutely see that this just be a completely different thing. Do not go ahead and quote me on this, that... Um, that that this is going to stay the same this is just the beta information that we have released that we're that we're playing with so um right off the bat really awesome here if they're going to go ahead and keep it definitely useful for three stars uh the first four star they have it named as mist could change uh the stats are pretty decent they're okay uh the defense is pretty low has okay hp attack power is okay uh pretty average with that but it deals 375 or 175 to the target nearby enemies. The target nearby enemies are immune to new buffs for three turns. Um, the target nearby enemies get minus 34 against special skills, and they also get negative 64 mana generation for three turns. So this this is really really solid. The really cool thing about this is that you can't just um, you can't just use like attack like you can't use curl to just like mitigate what you did um so and i don't i don't know yet if if cleansing will count i think cleansing will go ahead and remove the the minus defense on the special skills and i think that it will um it will get rid of the mana generation but 64 percent mana generation is pretty big plus it's dealing damage to it as well so I really, I really like this as a four-star hero for sure. Um, when they'll be released, I don't know when they'll be released. Probably, my guess is like May, potentially actually sooner. Maybe, maybe April is my guess, but I have no clue. That's just all. That's all speculation. I don't, I don't have any, any official. Uh, so Brian Hild. Is a four star. Has pretty average stats. Uh, green. It's part of the rogue class. So recovers 37 health for the caster and nearby allies. The caster and nearby allies are immune to buff dispels for three turns. Caster and nearby allies get 74 against special skills and get mana generation for three turns. So uh, this is kind of like. I would say a baby uh, Albrick minus the the revive and kind of similar to to Chameleon, um, but it is a four star, so 
Uh, another amazing four star that they have set to come up. Lots of different uses for this. Uh, plus it's running at fast speed, which I think that that should probably be adjusted. I think that this is probably too good. Um, but it is nearby allies. Still, I think still it's too much. Um, this would just be essentially essentially just a better Ares, potentially. No, because it's special. A little bit different. Um, still a lot of usage here that we will see. Uh, Mirror Weave. So this is very fast. It deals 150 damage to the target nearby enemies. And the caster gets 5% attack, maximum stack at 10. So uh, that will be interesting. That's the first time we've seen that that wording to be the stack of uh, maximum size up to 10. So I wonder if that goes ahead and just stacks out at 10. I haven't messed around with it very much. But I don't know how much I'm really going to like this hero with it only being target nearby enemies. We'll see, we'll see how this works. It does have pretty low defense. The attack power is pretty average. So, But being it very fast, I think that that adds an element of things to it. Um, so this is Sif. This is the five star. Sif is actually amazing. Um, so the attack power is really good. The defense is really solid. HP is solid. Very much, um, very much kind of tank kind of um, stats. It is also in holy. So rogue class, which will be really good. Um, it's at average speed. Caster nearby allies counterattack with 100% of the damage rec received for four turns. Caster nearby allies reduce all damage by 50% for four turns, and they also get uh, mana generation for four turns. So I think that this is going to be really annoying to go against. Uh, I don't know if it'll be more annoying than Guinevere, but definitely has that element, the opposite end of element of, of annoyingness, I would say. I think that she could definitely be really good. Um, now, it has been confirmed that the counterattack goes first, and then the reduced damage goes second, so you don't lose out on the reduced damage part to it. So it does reflect 100%, but you're only taking 50%. I do like that it is all four turns, so you do know that four turns is a pretty decent amount, and it is giving the mana generation. So I think this is going to be a really cool, cool, uh, cool hero for sure. Uh, Freya. This is dark, 766 attack, defense, HP, all pretty decent um, attack and defensive, pretty average. Uh, recovers 100% health for all allies, uh, allies' minions. Summons a raven minion for each ally with 10% HP, 15% inherited from the caster. Raven minion also gives 85% attack to its owner and other minions and all allies get 30 30 percent of defense for four turns so probably the best minion making hero besides maybe delilah it is in druid so druid is um it's kind of interesting but the only issue is is that it has so much competition um for dark so i don't know how much play this will get but this is running at fast speed so this could definitely have some um a lot of annoyingness to go up with it uh, Fenir, the five star blue. This guy has 780 attack, 737 defense, 1297. Pretty high stats, decent attack, um, above average on defense. Deals 300 damage to the target at fast speed. Deals 600 damage if, if it has less than 50% health remaining. Cash gains a moderate amount of mana for each each uh, enemy minion killed and heals caster for 50% of the damage so this card is just insane right now uh, it's just another version of the cage burrito but just better uh, in ice so I think that this is going to be really good probably too overpowered without me playing with it too too much but just off a of reading with it uh, Norns five star another holy you get 770 attack, 718 defense, 1369. So really, really high defensive uh, stats. Running in Sorcerer. If you don't have Versenia, probably pretty decent to be in there. 
deals 265 damage to the target nearby enemies. Target enemies become weak against the elements. I think I, I might have cut this wrong. Um, at average, I don't know how much use this is going to get used. And uh, Alfreaky, 5 star, dark, has 659 attack, so that's pretty low attack. But the defense is at 830 plus the HP, so very, 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 very high defense. Probably an A plus in stamina just by looking at that. Uh, but this is running at very slow. Cast five dark cubes to random enemies. Dark cubes deal 285 damage to the target. Uh, dark cube reduces max health for target by 335. Max health can't go lower than 30% of the original. Target automatically casts mindless attack on random allies when mana is full for three turns. So this is going to be really insane. Um... I mean, it is at very slow. I think that they really tried to find a hero that would be usable very slow. And uh, this hero is going to be probably really disgusting. Uh, it's going to be amazing in the um, in the tournaments, for sure. Like, especially the, the very fast tournaments. It's just going to be disgusting. Um, so I think that this is probably going to be awesome against... Um, this is probably going to be the best very slow hero that they've created and i like the direction that they're going with it whether that will be seen to be useful or not we don't know yet because the game is going so fast that heroes like this might potentially just die but i do love what they did with the um the uh the attack strategy or the defensive stamina strategy with it so we'll see how much it how much uh how much use it gets so that's um that's what i've got that's all of the heroes explained, kind of my first initial thoughts. Obviously, um, obviously we're going to have to wait to see what actually comes out and what they actually do with it. And I do want to play with them a bit more. I've been talking to a lot of people in beta as well, or I will be uh, part of the, the beta line group. So I'll have a, a pretty good idea as far as what's going on with that. And other than that, I think that that's going to be it, chat. So... Thank you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight, uh, seeing everything with, uh, with, uh, the heroes and, um, yeah, I guess I'll take some last minute questions just real quick, probably the next couple of minutes. Uh, if you guys could do me a huge favor, it looks like you've got, there's 92 of you guys. If you could like go, go quickly and just like the video, I'd appreciate that. Need level mana troops for this hero? Yeah, that's that's for sure. Yeah, Alfric is going to be a beast, yeah. He looks like he's going to be disgusting. For sure. Uh, it is in dark, so... It's going to come to the point, like, is Ursania better than him? You're probably still going to run Ursania. Um, in my opinion. Just because, like, Ursania running at average, you're going to pretty much have Ursania go off twice before he goes off once, and Ursania just kills you if she goes off twice. So, um, but I still see some usage. Thanks, it looks like um, a bunch of you guys doubled up on that. A bunch of people are liking it. I appreciate that, guys, very much. And if you guys, like I said, if you could do me a huge favor, like, the stream's about to end, just check out the check out the link, check out the description. That really does help me, because the more activity that you guys go ahead and check out check out Raid Shadow Legends, the more that they go ahead and decide to sponsor it, which makes it a lot easier to make a lot more content, and it makes it so so that uh, that making and producing these videos um, makes it so I don't put so much pressure on you guys. So, um, who do they say the featured Atlantis heroes are going to be this week? Yeah, Kunshin and Zeline, supposedly. So both really really solid heroes to to, to catch. All right, chat, hopefully you guys go ahead and check it all out. I really appreciate you guys all coming and hanging out with me today, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome